Today we're checking out the TF micro SD to SD card extension cable. Um, in the US, we don't really call them TFs, but it's just a SD to micro SD adapter. And what this is gonna allow you to do is in, uh, this is commonly used in GPS devices in cars because a lot of cars only do micro SD and people have a big SD and with the GPS, you really don't need that big of an SD card. So, you know, these free SD cards that you get you know, in, in cameras, all sorts of things. This is a large 128, but like a 32 or 16, you might have them lying around. And so this is gonna work not only in your GPS, but also in the RetroPie, Raspberry Pi, and other single board computers that take only the micro SD. It's gonna allow you to take a full-sized SD card. And for some of you out there, you have SD cards lying around, or you're gonna see there actually is a benefit that the standard size uh, SD cards often get better performance than the micro SD cards, especially in write speed. So you're gonna see that in a second that I'm getting uh, three times faster write speeds on a SanDisk Ultra regular versus a micro SD SanDisk Ultra. Same brand, same model line, but, but both class 10, but just different form factors. Now, uh, to get started, I did order mine on, on eBay. I want to get the cheapest one possible. Now, um, it did take over a month for it to get to my house, um, but I was willing to do that for this video. I was in no rush. I just wanted to make sure it worked. Um, I've done previous videos on this where uh, it actually never arrived, but this time I went with a seller who had already sold a bunch of them. So I knew that the likelihood of me getting it was actually very, very high, a 98.9 .9 feedback, really good stuff. Um, it is coming from China, so that's why the long uh, wait. You can also order these on Amazon if you don't wanna wait. They're about double the price, but still really cheap when you think about it. And as you'll see in this video, I mean, it works great. I'm gonna show you how it works on my Raspberry Pi and also show you some write speeds. All right, so we're gonna put the Emolga, one of my favorite recall box images at the time. We've got a 32 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra standard size SD card, not a micro SD. Let's go ahead and write this and check out these speeds. Yes. That's actually really good. That's really, really good. Considering the SanDisk Ultra micro SD, on average gets me about 18 megabytes per second. So I knew this was gonna be the case that there's just a lot more performance out of the standard size SD cards. I don't know the science behind it, if it's the form factor or just that the standard SD maybe have more development on it, maybe more the more space allows for faster speeds. Um, I don't think you're losing any speed in the adapter from the micro SD to the standard SD, but I'm burning this. If you've seen my other micro SD card review videos, I'm burning it in the same slot on the same computer in every one of those tests. So this is a real world test and I'm getting terrific speed. So I knew this is gonna be one of the major benefits of going with a standard size SD card. All right, so here we go. We have the adapter. We have our image now burned on the SanDisk Ultra. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up. And uh, it's about a foot worth of cord. No, over. About two feet worth of cord here. So very long. And it gives you a little indication where to put the card. So the rounded or the uh, cut off corner goes in just like that. Oh, it is a clicking mechanism which is good. And uh, then we plug this into the Pi. And remember with the Pi, with this case here, the um, Wicked Aluminum, the um, actual contacts are going to be on the up, facing up. So we're gonna stick it in like that. It's an, actually a nice firm fit in here. Um, I was a little surprised. I thought this was gonna be kind of a loose fit, like it would fall out easily but it's actually in there quite well. And uh, we can, you know, we could probably make this look a lot better. We, once the card's in there, you can wrap it up if you want. So we can get it looking like that, okay? And again, this is just for the video. Your setups are gonna be much cleaner than this. All right, let's power it on. All right, it's booted. And uh, I mean, read speeds are, are, we already know, are gonna be great. It's a SanDisk Ultra. I do need to configure a controller here. 
There it is. Up, down, left, right. Joystick up, left, up, left. In a previous video I did, people were like, this recall box doesn't work. It only gives you the option for left and up. Well, it automatically detects the right and the down based on your up and your left. So it's actually quite, uh, you know, it's quite, it learns, right? It's learning. Here we are, that 32 gigabyte image. If you look at my videos from last week, you can see this image is really cool. Ton of games. So here you go, I moved to the full screen. Uh, it runs Recallbox, RetroPie, no problem. It should run most other single port computers, no problem. The main benefits, again, write speeds, possible sales on those items, and then the ability to take a, a standard SD card that you might already have lying around so you can repurpose something. Or if you wanna extend out and have an easy get to access to your SD card, like a, in a Pi station or something like that, it definitely enables you to do that. So uh, a lot of positives here. It's not a must have, but for some of you, I think it will make your setup a little bit better and it also unlocks a lot of options for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.